See, I told you we'd get them back in time. Romulus, Mars, welcome back. I trust the youngsters didn't give you too much grief. Well... Ow! Uh, yeah, they were just fine. <laughs> uh, good as gold. <laughs> That's a relief. You made it back just in time. And there's a storm picking up. Come on, come settle down for the night. <sighs> hmm. Romulus, Mars, may I have a word? Come on, let's get you out of this rain. Do you young stallions know why I called you over here? Uh, well... Nice, uh, weather we're having? <laughs> If you two slip from your duties again, I'll put measures in place to ensure that you are found out. Hey, quit reading our minds. You're, you're invading our privacy. Mars, shut up. I wouldn't usually. But you two just looked too suspicious. Good job I did, too. Yeah, Moniz, what we did was irresponsible. We got distracted and we apologize. It won't happen again, I swear. Look, uh, Cleo, please don't tell anybody. They'll... they'll separate us. Well then, you better step up to the mark. You aren't fools anymore. Grow up! Take some responsibility. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be a full watcher anymore. Venus, uh, I've been meaning to ask you. Uh, yeah? Uh, what is that net? that pendant you wear around your neck. Oh, this thing? It's kind of a long story. But basically, when I was only a month old, my father, Augustus, he was called to battle, and he died defending our herd. And because he sacrificed himself, his soul was preserved in a, in a nearby leaf, and it turned to a precious metal. Now my father is with me all the time. He protects me. Well, it sure is beautiful. <laughs> what abilities did your father have? Oh, I'm... I'm... I can't remember. Have you asked your mother about it? Every time I mention father, she changes the subject. It must be quite distressing to think about. Hey, it's alright. We're all here for you. We're a team, right? Yeah. <laughs> Venus! Venus, it's time to settle down for the night, dear. Come along. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Averstone, you too. Thor! Come on, son! Bedtime! See ya! <sighs> Good night! Mama, I'm all soggy from the rain. Oh, come on, dear. Let's get you all warm and dry. Neptune! Come along, dear. Coming, Mom! Did you have a pleasant day today? Yeah, it was fun. Lots of um, e exploring. And how is Loki doing? He's the same as always. Awkward. I 
guess you and me are together tonight. My father's on duty as usual. Come on then, you two. Let's pick a good spot. Ugh, what a day. Loki! Um, yeah. I was going to ask you if you were awake, but that would seem a pointless interrogative, as it would appear that you are actually awake. Yeah. You... you don't like company very much, do you? Not really. Why? I guess I'm just different. Everybody's different. Well, I'm uncomfortably different. As well as being a social recluse. What do I need to do to prove to you that you can trust me? Just be yourself. So, do you trust me now? What? I don't hear anything. Shh. Just listen. Listen to me. I'd better get back to the herd before I... Oh, it's already starting to rain. Oh, must be a storm brewing. Huh? Oh, crud. The necklace. Oh, I must have lost it. How could I have lost it? How could it have just vanished off my neck? Oh, no. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Is that darn thing? <gasps> what was that? Who's there? Feels wrong. I don't like this. Lowry? Ah! Ah. Oh, my head. What? What happened? That was... interesting. Huh, not too bad of a body. Can't complain. A bit weak, but it'll have to do. Now, let me tap into Persephone's memories. How do I get back to the herd from here? Hmm. I know the way. Ah, oh, Persephone. You are so grubby. <laughs> this body isn't exactly the best, but it'll do for now. And Persephone's 
power of seduction will certainly come in handy. I just need to get at Larry. He's the powerful one. The Renaissance Fair are extremely helpful. Or they will be once I've dealt with them. No one will suspect a thing. <laughs> ah, this is going to be fun. <laughs>